What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to recover from a crash in Vegas Pro 17. So the last video I put on the channel was how to increase the autosave frequency. This meant that if you did have a crash, you could actually go back to a more recent file than if you hadn't changed the autosave frequency. So if you do want to check that video out, it should be on screen now. To get started, you're going to want to go to the search bar on Windows down here and you're going to want to type in show hidden files. If you are using Windows 10, it should show up exactly like this. If you're on different versions of Windows, it should be very similar. Search something along these lines and you should get an option like this. So click on Show Hidden Files. This will bring up a window here. You're then going to click on Show Settings down here where it highlights it for you. Then it'll pop up this panel where you can select Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. Now mine is already selected here. If you haven't selected this before, it should be on this setting. If not, press that. If it is already on that setting, then just leave it as it is. Click apply, click OK. The next step, you're going to want to go into your file explorer. The first thing you're going to want to click on is this PC, so you just at the top of your file directories. Then you're going to navigate into your local disk C, then users, then click on your account. Now, uh, I made a mistake when setting up Windows, so instead of saying Robert, it says Robber. But yeah, we'll live with that. I'm going to click on Robber. And then you're going to want to look for app data. Now you can see here the logo is slightly transparent. That shows that it was a hidden folder, but we can't actually see this because we enabled that setting. So you're going to double click onto that. You're going to go into local. And then you're going to look for Vegas Pro 17. And then you're going to look for Vegas Pro. Now you can type this in at the top or you can just scroll down. It should be somewhere near the bottom and you can see it is here. So I'm going to click on Vegas Pro. You can see I've got two different versions here, 16 and 17. So I'm going to double click on 17, which is the one we're using. If you are using a different version of Vegas Pro, then just click on the relevant version to you. So you can see here that I have got a Vegas file straight away. This one is one of the autosave files. If you have just experienced the crash, what you're going to want to do is look for the most recent autosave file. So to do that, you're going to click on date modified up here. Make sure the arrow is pointing down. This will put the most recent files at the top. Now, luckily I haven't had a recent crash, but I can go to some autosave files that I do have anyway. So if we scroll down, we'll eventually see one. So we can see that my most recent autosave file was on the 18th of the 5th, 2020. So that was a few days ago. That was when I was last editing a video. And if we double click on that, it'll open Vegas Pro showing the file that had been autosaved at that point. Now this is just an empty one because clearly I hadn't actually done anything on this project. Uh, but if you have just experienced the crash, that is where you will find the autosave file. Now if you do notice that you've opened your autosave file and it seems like you've still lost too much work, then check out my other video where you'll be able to increase the autosave frequency and that'll just mean you'll lose less work in the event of a crash. And one final thing you're going to want to do before actually continuing to edit your project is actually save the file to where you normally would save the file because in this case it will keep it as that restored file so you're going to want to click file save as and then save it to wherever you want it just so you're not going to actually lose the file but that is it for this video that is how you restore a crashed vegas pro 17 file if you did enjoy the video and you found it helpful then leave a like down below if you want to see more tutorials then consider subscribing to the channel and if there is any tutorials you would like to see then comment them down below but that's going to be it for me so i'll see you next time goodbye